I will end Biafran agitation if made president of Nigeria. Umayi assures Buhari. See who is talking. See who is talking. That is what we are talking about. Deceivers. Killers. Umayi is one of those governors and evil leaders, Governor Charles Soludo is talking about. Who knows if it's not even the person Governor Charles Soludo is pointing fingers at of the governor sponsoring the government. Yeah, I'm telling you, who knows? You can that you, you you can stop Biafran agitation if made president of Nigeria. So that is how easy you think that can be. Okay, if you say that you can, let's see how you can make it work. Let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is evening news. Governor Dave Umayi of Airborne states says Nigeria needs a president from the Southeast geopolitical zone in 2023 to create wealth and correct injustices meted out to Igbo people. He said to President Mopoy that if he is elected, that he has this dream to put an end to the existence of Biafran agitation. IPOP has called for a secession of the region from Nigeria. But Mr. Omai believes that the agitation for an independent state of Biafra will be over once an Igbo man becomes the next president. Let me tell Nigerians that there is nothing to be afraid of in an Igbo man becoming president. We need to be wise and stand together, he said. We have property and investment everywhere. So when people tell you about Biafra, it is not about succeeding at all. Mr. Umayi, a presidential aspirant of the All Progressive Congress, stated this when he addressed delegates of the party from the Southeast in Oweri on Tuesday. He was received by his counterpart in Imo, Governor Hope Uzodima, chairman of the party in the zone and delegates. We want one Nigerian built on a platform of equity, fairness, and justice. The Igbo man we do better under a united Nigerian. We want to be fairly treated, declared Mr. Omai. The presidential hopeful added that the 2023 general elections will be a time for Nigerians to prove the no victory, no vanquish declaration that was made after the civil war. He stressed the need for rotation between the north and south, saying that the body language of President Mohamed Buhari suggested that he wanted the presidency to go to the South, but worried that the South-South and Southwest aspirants would not make the chance of an Igbo presidency easy. My position is that our brothers from the South-South and Southwest should give us a chance on the same platform upon which we demand that the presidency should come to the Southeast said the airborne governor the moment they do that in the spirit of oneness you will see everything falling in place and it will be swift according to mr omai the north east and southeast are the most marginalized region in nigeria he's speaking for himself yes he's speaking for himself and he's speaking for his own good let me tell you, Umayi is the person Governor Charles Oludo is talking about. Yes, he's the one. Look at when he defected from PDP to APC. Have you asked yourself why he did what he did? Do you think that Umayi defected because he wants to fight for you? Never. Umayi will never fight for you. He defected to add to his wealth. He defected to increase his income. 
he, he defected to expand his investments. You don't know. That is the dream of a politician. So don't ever think that Umayi is saying what he's saying for your good. Never. He's saying for his own good. For his own personal good, not for anybody's good. So let's use our brains. So I, that is the reason why I will not concur with what he has just said. Because I know that he has just spoken for himself and for his own personal good and no other person's good. So don't just allow yourself to be deceived by this very statement. All right? And the person that Umayi is even talking to, Umayi doesn't even know him. He may be smiling at you, but what he's going to do is already in his mind. Who told you that Bwari is willing and ready to give presidency to the Southeast? You are wasting your time for nothing. You are wasting your time. That very time you are wasting in... And in, in, in agitating for Igbo presidency, you can spend that time and resources in pursuing Biafran freedom. But you don't know. But because you are only after your own personal self and your own family, that is why you will never want to do what the people want. But rather, it is what you want that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Is this right? That's the truth. That's the humble truth. So, my dear people, let us not be moved. Let us not be deceived. Let us be truthful to ourselves. That is what is happening. Okay? Let me hear you from the angle there to know what you think and what your thoughts and opinion on this very broadcast will be. Don't forget your comments are very, very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.